we'll move over. I have my lip products organized in these little bins here. And then I have a little acrylic organizer that I bought off Amazon. And then this I got from the dollar store. This and this I got from the dollar store. All right, so over here I have my project pan stuff. I'm gonna keep it in this area. I'm obviously not gonna declutter those. I have this mini Bare Minerals um, liquid lipstick in the shade VIP. I have this Ulta Beauty lipstick. It's like this mauve color. And then I have a lip liner from Urban Decay in the shade Native. It's this nice pink color. I keep my lip liners in this little thing that I got from the dollar store. These Urban Decay ones I'm going to keep. This is in the shade Obsessed and Wonderland. Then I have the rest are from NYX suede matte lip liners. I have a navy blue, purple, blue, I think this is a gray. And then I have this dark crimson -y color. I've only used this one, but I do like them so far. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and keep these um, just because they were cheap and I don't feel bad keeping them. Then um, these were from the dollar store. These are surprisingly really well. These are LA Colors Lip Duos. It's a bright red and this purple shade. And then it has their matching lip gloss underneath. These are really nice and creamy and they're actually pretty pigmented. They do last quite some time on your lips. And yeah, I like them. For a dollar, they're definitely worth it. Um, So that's it for that. Gonna be keeping those. I don't really like this thing because these are kind of big and they're low. So my lip products always end up falling over. So these are kind of annoying to deal with. I have these Lipstick Queen, that's got head cat hair in it, these Lipstick Queen lipsticks. This is not a cruelty free brand. I accidentally purchased, I didn't accidentally, I bought them at TJ Maxx. No, I bought them at Marshalls and I just kind of assumed that they were cruelty free, but apparently they're not. I love this color though. It is in the shade Hot Rose Center. I'm going to be keeping this really pretty color. I use these as lip toppers. It's this goldy color with some shimmer to it. This is in the shade Queen Bee. And then this is in the shade Ice Queen. This is like a nice frosty color. But I'm gonna go ahead and keep these. Then I have this Too Faced Melted Liquid Latex in the shade Hot Mess. And this stuff is a hot mess. <laughs> I just, I don't like it. It's very goopy and too shiny. I mean, the color is definitely there. It's just, I don't know. I just don't like it. It moves around on my lips. It's just very, when you open and close your mouth, it, like it sticks together and it just does not work well for me. So I'm gonna be getting rid of that. I have this NYX Intense Butter Gloss in the shade Funnel Delight. I like this one a lot better. It's not as like shiny as liquid latex is and it doesn't have that sticky feeling. I mean it's kind of sticky but it's not as bad as the Too Faced one so I'm going to be keeping this one for now from the brand Pure. I love these doe foot applicators. Those are my favorite for lip product. Light pink color. I'm going to be keeping that because I don't have too too many lip glosses as opposed to as many lipsticks that I have. I got this from Marks J, but most of these, by the way, are from like TJ Maxx or Marshalls. From TJ Maxx, it's Marc Jacobs, and I feel like I just bought it just because it's Marc Jacobs, but I like it. This is in the shade Head Headliner Kiss Pop. I don't know, but I like it. I have this NYX Matte Rogue Lipstick in the shade Miami Nights. I love this. It's a nice hot pink color. I'm gonna be keeping this one. This is more of like a purpley color. This one is in the shade Unicorn Fur. I do like this one, so I'm going to be keeping that. They're a little bit similar, but they're also different at the same time. This one kind of has a more purpley undertone to it. These are like my colors that I don't really wear that much, but this formula is just so good on these NYX lipsticks, so I kind of just want to keep them anyways. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I just, I bought these kind of knowing that that's not really my personal preference when it comes to lip colors, but I love the formula on this. It's very nice, it's mattifying, but it's not too drying. The purple is called Disorderly, and the blue is called Blue Velvet. So, Blue Velvet and Disorderly. I'm gonna keep them for now. Lipstick from the Kylie and Kris Jenner collab. It's all right. I definitely got sucked up in the hype of that launch, but I just, I love the packaging. It has this middle finger all over it. It's a very nice nude color. I like it, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep it, especially because I paid so much money for it. And I definitely love this packaging. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. I like to keep the box too. I don't know why, I just, I like the box. Then I have this Kat Von D Studded Liquid Lipstick in the shade Love. It is a little bit more more matte than that lipstick next to it and a little bit lighter than that one. So I'm gonna put this in my maybe section. I do like this formula though. It's very nice. I bought it before that whole controversy happened so bear with me. And then I have this is like a dark midnight blue color in the shade Poe. 
I like it. I'm going to keep it. I don't really have anything like it in my collection. I have this hot pink lipstick in the shade Sexer. I think I can get rid of this one because I have this shade here by NYX is very similar. So this will go into my declutter section. So that's it for this. Let me put this back. See, this is what I mean. Like they all fall over from Hank and Henry in the shade Petal Pusher. I love this color so much, so I'm gonna keep it, but I hate this applicator, man. I have, like, this thing is huge, and I have very, 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 very tiny lips, so I just have to be really careful when I wear it, but this shade is just so pretty. It's kind of similar to that Kris Jenner one. I'm gonna keep it for now. It lasts all night long, all night long, even after eating and drinking. I wear this for 12 hours at work, and it's great. I have this Ulta Beauty lipstick. I don't know what shade this is, but kind of similar to the other ones, but this is more shiny. You know what? I'm gonna put this in my declutter. I don't need it. I have too many. I have Ulta Beauty in 239. That first one, I guess it goes by numbers. That was 236. This one is 239. This is just your classic nude color. Keeping this one. I have these Anastasia minis. I'm gonna keep all them. I'm not gonna swatch them for you guys because I would run out of space. Actually, you know what? Yeah, let me swatch them because I might need to reference them from other colors that I have. This was like a $20 set. Let's see, these are kind of drying so I don't necessarily care for them that much, but so I would recommend them for like shorter shifts. I mean, they do last a while, but to reapply them, it's just kind of a pain in the butt. Did I just swatch that same one? I don't know. I think I did. Maybe these are just really similar. Oh, I gotta like tilt my hand over here. So these are basically like nudes, browns. They're nice and they do last a decent amount of time, but they're pretty drying. So when you reapply them, your lips definitely... Um, look like they need some hydration in their lives, but they're nice. <laughs> and I don't really have that many browns, so that's why I'm keeping that. I have this dark, almost like a vampy kind of color. This is from Urban Decay. I'm gonna be keeping this. I got this as a mini gift with purchase. This is in the shade Bad Blood. Another Urban Decay in the shade PDA. This was, I think, one of my first Urban Decay lipstick purchases, um, which is shocking because I have so many now. Yeah, I like this. It's a little similar to these two, but not too much. It's kind of got like a sheen to it. So I'm going to go ahead and keep it for now. I'm running out of space in my arm. Oh, I remember I have to keep it up here. For some reason it doesn't fit right there. It's kind of weird, but whatever. Then I have this Essence lip color. It's like this aqua blue color. I like it. It's nice. It's very interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that. I got this on clearance. This Ulta Beauty Pat and Shine liquid lipstick. I love the applicator. It's like a doe foot, but it's kind of curved at the top. So it really like hugs your lips nice, if that makes sense. It's just a basic nudie color. Not as brown as the Kris Jenner one, but I like it. And this lasts a long time. I like this liquid lipstick formula because it's not mattifying like the other one, so it doesn't dry out your lips. Then I have this Ulta Beauty Butter Balm. I'm definitely keeping this because I only got it for a dollar. I use this as a gloss. I didn't even use it on its own because it's pretty opaque on, by itself, but it's got this nice shine to it. Keeping that. I have some Wet n Wild. You know, this one's a little bit older, so I'm going to get rid of it. I love this formula. It's really nice, very hydrating. I'm going to get rid of this one too because it's a little older, and I don't really care for that color to be honest. I love this formula. It's really nice and moisturizing, and it does last a while on the lips, and it's not one of those where you reapply and your lips get like super chapped like these Anastasia formulas. So yeah, I like that have a red one. It's like almost a pinky red. I'm going to keep this one. This is pretty new. And then this one is more of like a crimson-y color. I'm going to be keeping this one as well because it's a nice affordable option. I got this at the dollar store so it's not like it's breaking the bank. I have this e.l.f. lipstick. This was from the dollar store. This is in the shade Flirty and Fabulous. I do like this a lot. You know, this looks kind of similar to the NYX one. So you know what? I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to get rid of that NYX one because they're basically the same and I like the elf formula better than the Nick. This is old. <laughs> this is an elf in the shade Berry Kiss. I can tell this is old. This has some like discoloration to it. It was a nice kind of brown color. Nice for fall but I'm gonna get rid of it because it's old. I have this Ofra lipstick. I don't really care for this color to be honest. It's like a poopy brown kind of color. <laughs> And I really don't like it. I think I'm going to give it to my friend. I'll see if she wants it. Getting rid of that one. I got that in a boxy charm, I think. Same with this Smashbox. I think I got this in a boxy charm as well. It's a nice crimson color. It's very deep, very fall. 
So I'm gonna keep it for now and see if I like it because I actually don't even think I've tried this on. It's kind of dark for me. The thing about me is because I have really small lips, dark colors kind of can look strange. It's either a hit or miss. So I'm gonna try this out. I'm gonna keep this for now, but this is definitely a maybe. So I'll put a maybe pile right here. I have these two lip colors from NYX. This one's nice. It's like a lilac color, so I'm gonna keep that. This one is in the shade Playdate. Then I have another one in the shade T-U-L-S. I don't know what that means, but this is unlike any other shade that I have already. You know what? Should I keep this? I'm gonna put this in my maybe section. I will come back to this shade because it's kind of similar, but it's also kind of not at the same time. So I don't know. Should I? I think I'm gonna keep this for now. I'll keep it for now. If I don't use it, I'll declutter it. How about that? Ulta Matte Lip Cream in Coral. Put this right here. It's like this nice kind of burnt orally color. This is lasts really long on the lips. I'm gonna keep that one. All right, all right, all right. I got too much shit on my hands. I have this Pirates of the Caribbean Ahoy Matey lip stuff. I'm gonna put this right here because I'm gonna be keeping it. It's like this nice um, steel blue. Is this steel blue or is it seafoam blue? I don't know. It's nice, I like it. I don't have any other colors like this in my collection, so I'm gonna keep it. And this is the lip gloss that goes over it. I found this at TJ Maxx. I have quite a bit of Anastasia lip products. So this is in the shade Party Pink. I do like their liquid lipstick formula. This is like this hot, hot pink color. I love it. I wore this to work when I was self-tanned and oh my gosh, everyone was giving me so many compliments. They're like, wow, you look really good. And I'm like, thanks. So I'm keeping that one. And this is a more of a coral color. This is in the shade Karina, Karina. Keeping that. This purple one in the shade Orchid. Ah, I'm dropping everything. This is in the shade Orchid. It's kind of like the other two products that I had, but this one has a little bit more of a shine to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one. This is in the shade Purple Rain. Really, really pretty. It's like a nice purple metallic. You can't really tell, but it's definitely more metallic than it appears in my swatch. Let me show you the bottle. Really, really pretty. I have another kind of metallic one. This is in the shade Plum, Sugar Plum. It's kind of like, um, I guess you could say, yeah, it's like a dark plum color. It's a little bit more metallic than it's appearing on camera, but I like that, so I'll be keeping that one. Then I have the shade Craft. I really enjoy this one as well. Kind of like a deeper berry color. It's really hard to get my swatches now because I have so many freaking swatches on my arms, so. That one is really nice. You know what, I have another lipstick that kind of looks like it, but I don't remember which one is which. I think this one is the elf one but you know what yeah it is one of these but for a dollar I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get rid of it okay then I have this um, Beauty Creations Longwear Matte Lip Gloss. I think I got this from like a BoxyCharm or an Ipsy. It's nothing too special and I kind of have colors like this already. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. Oh my gosh, this smells really good. I'm smelling it right now. It's, I'm gonna get rid of it because I have other colors that are similar already in my collection. Then I have this NYX Slip Tease. Um, a really nice nude. This is more of a creamy formula than it is a matte, so I'm gonna be keeping these. I'm gonna keep all these, so you know what? Let me swatch them all for you without talking too much because my battery's dying again. I've been talking way too much. So these two are kind of the same color. Um, let's see, red one is called Red Queen, pink one is Sun Begun, and this nudie one is called Low Key. So you know what? This is a little bit more true red than this. It's a little bit more of a pinkier undertone. These two are very, very similar. I'm gonna hang on to both these for right now, and I'll decide in the future which ones I wanna keep. This red, um, formula. I'm going to keep that as well. So I'm going to keep all these just because I love the formulation of them. I know I have colors in my collection that are already pretty similar, but like this formula is just amazing. Oh, you know what? I have one more Anastasia lipstick. This is in the shade Rio. I'm going to make a long swatch just so I can compare the three of these. These are all so similar. <laughs> I'm going to keep this for now. This Urban Decay formula is really, really good and long lasting. I kind of don't like reapplying it, but it's not too, too drying but it does last quite a long time. I love this purple lipstick. It's more of like a crimsony red, a mauvey purple, a bright pink, and then this nude looks beautiful on the lips. So this is one of my favorite lipsticks that I have in my collection. I'm gonna keep all four of these. Moving on, I have this NARS 
lip crayon that my friend gave me. It's this nice um, berry pink color. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this, but I don't support NARS. I would never buy from them. This Kat Von D lipstick, this liquid lipstick, I got this in a boxy charm, and it's this deep, deep, I want to say it's like a wine color, but I'm very bad at describing colors, so I'm not 100% sure. But I'm gonna keep it for now, and if I decide to declutter it in the future, I'll probably just give it to one of my friends. Everything else I'm gonna be keeping. I got all these mini NYX lipsticks, and there's like 30 or 32 of them, and then I have a full size that I got for free as a gift with purchase. I'm keeping because there, there's not a lot of um, quantity in them, so I know I'll run out of these quickly. I got these for like maybe 30 or so dollars at TJ Maxx. Then I have in here a Fenty Beauty gloss balm. I'm keeping that. I have all my, oops, all of my Buxom lipsticks. I got these in a second, so I'm keeping that. I'm dropping everything. Then I have this Odessi New York liquid lipstick. You know what? I'm actually going to declutter this because if I remember correctly, this did not look good on me. I just felt like it looked kind of dead when I wore it. It's just definitely not a color for my skin tone, so I'm going to go ahead and pass that along to my friend. So these three are going to be thrown away. These are things that I'm going to be getting rid of. I have two other lipsticks. I already just moved them in there of things that I'm going to be giving a second shot. And then this is everything that I'm keeping. All my lip glosses, all my NYX, and then these things here. I gotta go through and reorganize everything. And then those as well. So yeah, that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. That's basically it for my entire makeup collection declutter series that I got going on. I'm not going to be doing my brushes just because I'm going to keep all of them. If I really decide to get rid of one of them, I'll throw it into another video. So after I clean everything up, I plan on doing a um, vanity tour. I'm going to be filming my makeup inventory um, so that I can start my low buy for the year of 2019. So if you're interested in any of those videos, stay tuned. Yeah, that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you in the next one.